Alrighty, Cherub, so today we're going to be making a basket out of clay. So I have over here my um, coils that I'm going to be using. These are my coils, and I've got them all in a stack pre-made. That's the best way to go. These ones are flattened coils that I use the extruder on. I've got a base that I'm going to use for a mold. You can drape uh, your coils over top of a, of a bowl, but I'm going to be placing mine on the inside. I'm going to be slumping them inside this bowl. So get rid of that guy and just putting them down inside. Again, that's just a choice that you can make. So I line up my first row of coils. I don't need to do all of them. Now I'm going to take and trim off those edges. Clean them off so we don't have all this excess clay that I'm dealing with. Just get rid of that right there. Slice those. And pull those off to the side. Now I'm going to add a coil. I'm going to just trap this one down so it'll fit and I'm going to weave it into the coils that I put down. Now I first want to put them down so I'll scratch just lay it down just kind of line it up see where it's gonna go see if it's long enough it should be long enough perfect now I'm gonna scratch the underside of this score it Throw in some slip and give it a good press. Now we'll pull that back, that first coil, because I got to go over, under, over, under. So I'll score up this, these two coils, these two sides. Throw in some slip and give it a press. So again, every other row needs to go over and under. They should always be opposite of each other. And I continue scoring and slipping. I want to use a paintbrush to do the slipping on this one, just so because my hands are going to be, I'm going to be back and forth with my hands so much. I don't want to use um, my fingers to do the slipping. Though you certainly could. I just thought that would be a little more tedious than I wanted to do. So again, more slip. And we're going to be doing the last one here. Now, again, just give it a good press. Make sure you give a good press in between each and the going and the slipping. Now I'm just going to continue doing that uh, for the rest of my coils until I have a completed form. So I'm gonna speed this up here so it goes a little quick, but you can see how I'm doing that with all of them. Now what I'm going to do is start making an edge for the bowl. I just want to line it up here, see if it'll fit, if I've got enough. It is. I've got a little too much, which is good, so I'm just going to trim it off. Now I'm going to score and slip both sides and attach it. Now lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch this into place so that it feels right, so it's all good and attached. So just kind of pinching it all together, kind of squeezing it so that it it is nice and adhered, so that when it dries, it doesn't pop off. Now 
And that's how you make a ceramic basket. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you can make one soon.